Hi everyone, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem, the full counting sort. In this challenge, you need to print the string that accompanies each integer in a list sorted by the integers. If two strings are associated with the same integer, they must be printed in their original order. So your sorting algorithm should be stable. There is one other twist. The first half of the strings encountered in the inputs are to be replaced with the character dash. That means from the list of inputs, if we have like 10 inputs means we need to replace the first five with the dash symbol. Insertion sort and the simple version of quick sort are stable, but the faster in place version of quick sort is not since it scrambles around elements while sorting. In this challenge, you will use counting sort to sort a list while keeping the order of the strings preserved. For example, if your inputs are 0a, 1b like that with the integer and a letter, you could set up a helper array with three empty arrays as elements. The following shows the insertions. So they have created three empty arrays inside our list. So this is the three in empty arrays. So this is corresponds to zero. This is one. This is two. So A, it is accompanied by zero. So we will insert dash here for index one. This is B and it is also dash here. Remember, I already mentioned for the first half of the inputs, we need to replace this letters with the dash. And for again, index zero, C, C is inserted at zero. And for D, D is inserted at first index. The result is then printed dash C dash D. So it's printed in this particular order. So like this, we need to solve this problem. So this list can be created based on the constraints. Let's see it now. So this is the constraints. N can go up to 10 to the power of six. That is the number of elements. Yes, that is the length of the string that can go up to 10 and X that can go up to 100. X is the integer that comes with the letter. So that is maximum can go up to 100. So using this constraint, we can create an empty list of 100. And after that, we need to insert the elements accordingly and print all the elements in the end. And this is an example. So we have 20 inputs. So for the first 10 inputs, we need to replace it with dash. And for the remaining, we need to insert the elements correspondingly. And the result will look like this. And this is the explanation. So inside the list, it should be like this. So for each index, we need to insert the elements accordingly. Okay, let's solve the problem now. First, we need to create an empty list that will be result equals empty list, again an empty list for i in range of 100. Because of the constraint 100, I am just mentioning 100. If the constraint has higher elements means we need to change the logic accordingly. But here, this is a small constraint, so we don't need to worry about this case. Next. We need to see how the inputs are taken in the main function. So this is the main function. We have the number of elements and the input is taken as a string of list. So we have n and for the first half, this is first half of iteration for i in range of n divided by two. So that is half of the inputs we need to do result of int of array of i of 0. So 0 corresponds to the integer. So this will return the index. Using this corresponding index, we can append the element. So dot append dash. So the first half of the iteration, we are appending the elements using the dash symbol. And for the second half, second half of iteration for i in range of n divides to, this is starting from half and goes till the end. And again, result of int of array of i of zero. Now again, append array of 
i of 1. So this first index corresponds to the elements. So this is the element. I'm just appending to the corresponding index array. So after appending all the elements, we need to print the array like this. So it should be a space separated strings. For that, print the results. Again, for string in results, print asterisk of string. I already mentioned asterisk will display the whole array with space separated list of integers or a string. So here, this is a string and end equals a space. So this will print all the results in a same line. And here we need to add another condition if string. Why I am adding another condition here? Because if the list is empty means it will leave a empty space like this. That's why I'm just avoiding that case using this condition. You can just leave the condition if you want and uh, print it. It will throw wrong answer in some test cases. So you can try it, but I advise you should uh, use a condition like this. Now that concludes our whole logic of this problem. First, we are creating a two dimensional list using list comprehension. And after that, we are iterating for the first half of the inputs. For the first half, we are appending only dash symbol to the result. In the second half, you are appending the characters to the result. And make sure you use the corresponding index for that array. And in the result, we are printing the list with space separated strings using the asterisk symbol here. And using the end separator, we are printing all the results in the same line. And we are using this condition to make sure to avoid the empty spaces due to empty list. If you have any other logic other than this, please leave a comment below. It will be very useful for others. Let's run the code now. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys. We solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. Stay tuned for the next video.